Yeah, so, okay, so let me uh, share my screen. So you can see my screen, right? Hello? No, sir. No, no, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, now it's visible. Now we can see, sir. This uh, white board, right? Correct. Yes, sir. It is yes, visible. Sir. Visible. Oh. Yes, yeah, okay, fine. Thanks. Okay, so uh, uh, so do you have any doubts from week five? Uh, so I have a doubt on activity question. Okay, so which part do you have doubt, like activity? Uh, yeah. Okay, mostly I'll uh, sort of I'll explain a few concepts. Sir, on activity 5.1, question number seven, okay. option D. 5.1, okay, so, yeah, so I'll, uh, okay, so it's good. So I'll start uh, with null space. So in that time, actually, it will, uh, so I'll, uh, so it's basically saying, uh, question number five is saying whether this, uh, so it's sort of related to this uh, null space. So, uh, I'll, I'll explain the whole question. So instead of. Yes, um, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, could you also explain the relationship between the rank of uh, two matrices and the rank of that product? Like rank of okay. A, rank of B, rank of AB. Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't uh, get you. Uh, sir, could you explain the relationship between, say, uh, if you have two matrices A and B, the rank of A and the rank of B, how it is related to the rank of B, B. Like I'm not being able to grasp that concept. Okay, okay. Yeah, fine. I'll... I'll sir, um, uh, will you be discussing uh, the activities also, sir? Activity uh, questions? Yeah. Okay. okay, sir. So, let me first... Uh, uh, let me, so do you want me to explain how, how you compute this uh, null space of a matrix and... Uh, or yes, like, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Explain. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, concepts. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so, yes, sir. Start from starting. Yes. Okay, yes, sir. Like the previous Yes, sir. Wow. Okay, so uh, let me start with, with this... Uh, uh, null space of a matrix. So, A and A is basically it's a matrix of order M cross. Okay, so can can one of you tell me what, what is what basically we mean by null space of a matrix? All the places where it's zero, like for the homogeneous system of equations. Correct. Like the solution so, set of the homogeneous system. So suppose you have a matrix. So so the null space. Uh, let me denote uh, by this uh, uh, notation W. So it's basically it's set of all solution. So X is is in Rn such that it's a solution of this matrix. Okay, so this this x and zero they has they have the usual meaning. For example, if I consider this, uh, let's say I have a matrix of order uh, 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 two cross three, right? So then this x is what? It's it's basically it's x one, x two, x three x3 and you can say it's a uh, so what is what is the order of this this uh, x if this is x what is the order of this x three cross one three cross one. yeah so it's three cross one but again we can see this 
this uh, x as a element inside r3 right okay so you can simply see it as a element of r3 by just writing this one x1 x2 and x3 okay so this is a element in r3 so so in so if my a is, is a general matrix of order m uh, m cross n so then this x will become a element in r n right so so what basically this null space is it's basically set up all or set up all all x inside r n such that if i operate uh, x with a then i will get zero right so so this so the next thing is actually this is not a, any any uh, arbitrary set okay so this has some uh, property so what basically i mean i mean by this is not a uh, any arbitrary uh, subset of rn okay this is this is certainly it's a subset of rn by definition so this has some property so in particular what basically i want to say w is a subset correct is a vector subspace okay vector subspace of r n so what i can do so uh, so you can easily prove this right so if if x is in uh, w and y is in w right then you can easily show that x plus y is also in w right because see what basically it means x comma y is in w so this basically means a times x is 0 and a operate with y is also 0 right so to show that x x plus y is in w what basically we need to show we need to show that a times x plus y is also 0 which is more or less clear right if we have these two information then i can easily say that this condition also holds because what is this this is nothing but a x y and i already know that this is 0 and this is 0 so this uh, in some sense this is zero means what zero. Uh, it's a zero vector of yeah yeah zero vector of rm rm uh, in this case rm yeah yeah so uh probably not rn this is a zero vector of in rm right uh, if a is n cross n yeah yeah rm okay. Yeah, so this is uh, a zero vector in R n, right? In R power n. Okay. So, so then the next condition is uh, uh, what? So how zero vector in R n? So, see what x. So a is a m cross n matrix, right? Yes. X is a what? Uh, x is number of unknowns that is n n cross one right yeah, so if, yeah if exactly. i multiply so this is if you consider uh, a as a matrix of order n n cross n and x is a matrix of order n plus one then what the solution is uh, m, yeah, m cross one you should m get one. m cross one right yes sir. yes sir. okay so uh, okay i'm getting some noise please mute uh, yourself like, uh, uh, okay so so that's why this zero is is a element in r n okay so okay. Okay. and the next uh, uh, thing is um, again uh, you can also show that this this set uh, so this set certainly preserves the addition right if i pick any two elements from this set w and if i add both the elements then basically i still inside this set w okay and the next thing is this, this w is uh, is also preserves the scalar multiplication for example if i take any c which is in r and if i pay pick x which is in w then then i can actually show that this basically this implies c times x is also in w so for example I, even this also you can prove what is so to show this uh, is inside w what you need to show you need to show that a of cx is precisely zero so what is a of cx a of cx is c times c a of x a of a x of and x. since you know that x is inside w that means a x is zero so we so basically if you multiply c with zero you'll end up with zero okay so in particular 
this w is a vector subspace right so w is a is a vector subspace of rn so and this w is is precisely i i i guess i have already said it w is the null space of a this is the null space of a now since this is a vector subspace then i can talk about the dimension of this stuff right since w is a vector space the uh, vector subspace of rn then this this dimension of dimension of w has some meaning right because dimension of any arbitrary set has no meaning right so if so if this is a vector subspace then only i can talk about its dimension so this dimension of w whatever it is certainly it's it's certainly it's less than or equal to n right because w is a vector subspace of r so this dimension of w whatever this number is this is called this is the nullity of a nullity of a okay so uh, so the definition is clear or any doubt from from the definition sir i have a doubt hmm. yeah sir uh, i got it the concept but my question is why i need that null space what is its application see you are searching uh, for the solution of some system of linear equation right yeah yeah so what so this basically it's basically tells you at where this matrix will give you the zero right that means uh, so you have a linear transformation right so we will we'll come to uh, you know maybe after uh, this week or maybe uh, in the next week okay so uh, again like uh, this is the uh, traditional question uh, that what is the application so this uh, so why we are actually dealing with this all the matrix it's basically they all these matrix they are uh, associated with some linear transforms Oh. Sir, basically, null space is the space mm. where the solution of the uh, homogeneous, uh, there is solution of these uh, equations lie, right? So yes, 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 yes. The solution is which which vector gives that uh, solution is zero. So that we are interested in. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, yes. Mm. But uh, what? Uh, but I can't understand what mm. is what is the use for that because, for example, I can uh, also use sometimes uh, rather than zero. I need to which values, which vector I substitute. Yeah, so, so that is that, that is okay. Up. So so as you said, see once you know this, right? Once you know, uh, so you are saying uh, instead of this, okay? So so instead of this, yeah, you are mostly you want to solve this sort of equation, right? Yes, sir, x equal to one or something so, like that. So the so the thing is, what actually? Uh, so if you know the solution of this one right yeah and suppose you know only one solution of this one right let's say you know why is why is a solution of this one okay okay and you know all the solution of this one right then basically you can get all the solution of this system right you pick a solution okay let's say z is the solution right now if you add z plus y okay you will get a solution of this system right because what is a times z plus y that is a y a z plus a z plus a y y uh, a is that is zero b right yeah, so, yeah. so this is actually it's a uh, again like uh, it's it's basically it's a subspace so here the solution is a subspace right yes and here what is the solution whatever subspace you are getting w okay here the solution is precisely w plus y it's a it's a affine subspace okay so okay. if you know the solution of this system okay and if you know one one of the solution of this system you don't have to know all the solution you if you know one of the solution then then by 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 the information from whatever you're getting from this uh, equation you can get all the solution of this system okay. you, you will you will uh, read all these things in the upcoming what is affine space or affine, uh, affine space and uh, so again like uh, let me uh, repeat so this one of the main reason you are studying this uh, uh, 
matrix is is basically this matrix a is associated to to some linear transformation okay so we are mostly interested in this linear transformation and we want to find lot of things about this linear transformation this eigen value and all these things and 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 to get this uh, uh, eigen value of this linear transformation we don't have to we don't have to directly deal with this t we can simply we can deal with this uh, matrix t and we can get we can get all the information about about this linear transformation t using this matrix a okay, okay sir yeah okay any other questions sir yes could you explain in an easy way like what is the null space this is the probably uh, probably the easiest way that i know uh, to explain the null no space. sir i mean like you can give any example of like uh, of course i'll i'll give you an example okay so uh, uh, so the next is is precisely I, i'll discuss how how you can get the uh, null space of of let me uh, i'll i'll certainly i'll uh, i'll discuss the algorithm uh, whatever sa discuss so before that let me uh, take some example some easier example sir huh. so in here we find the solution space of a, a matrix a is x equal to b mm -hmm. right so if if the question is coming like that like mm -hmm. um, they given a vector space like r3 or r4 like that mm -hmm. so the question is find the num null space of this vector space there is so, there is no concept of null space of a vector space okay, okay. So, so it's only for null space of a matrix 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 so okay okay so what 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 is the, there is no mean okay so if you have a matrix then only you can create a homogeneous system yes. out of it right you can't create a homogeneous system from a vector space okay. yes sir yes sir So, uh, so, the, so there is was a question in activity 5.1 saying that the null space of the matrix of order 4 cross 3 is what so, yeah so how do we uh, uh, like you know it is r uh, you have put the here it is uh, less than or equal to n right sir mm -hmm. so there the order of the matrix is 4 cross 3 mm -hmm. so then uh, you have options like subspace uh, w i'll come i'll come to that okay, okay. Come to that. yeah just a minute let me finish this uh, okay sir maybe okay. some example okay so uh okay so again uh, don't uh, get confused with matrix and uh, and vector uh, vector space okay vector space is something different okay so matrix is something specific vector space contains infinitely many elements okay so okay. matrix is a sp specific element okay yes sir okay sir uh let's say 1 2 uh Two four. Okay, so as I said, I'm I'm taking a easy easy example because I still I have not discussed uh, about the algorithm how you can compute uh, the uh, null space of a matrix. So, so what is the null space of a matrix? So here the null null space. Uh, so this is a two plus two matrix, right? So the null space yes. is basically what. So you can say that x comma y, right? Such that a times x comma y is zero comma zero. Right? Please uh, mute yourself. So this is this is how I have written right here. Uh, this is the definition of my W null space, right? So so if I uh, if I write in the similar way, then I will get this. Uh, this set up so my w is what so again so this is nothing but the set of all x comma y such that <clears throat> what is this if i uh, if i multiply a with uh, x comma y then what i will get i will get uh, what x plus 2y x plus 2y And two x plus four y, four y. That will that is equal to zero zero. Zero zero. Zero, zero. zero. Right. So what actually I am searching here? I am searching here for all such x comma y. Okay, such that 
दिस टू कंडीशन होल्ड्स एट ए टाइम राइट सर दैट राइट हैंड साइड इज जीरो वेक्टर और रियल जीरोस दिस दिस इज अ वेक्टर एज ए एज ए होल दिस इज अ वेक्टर सी व्हाट व्हाट बेसिकली यू मीन बाय ए कॉमा बी इज सेम एज जीरो कॉमा जीरो when this is possible this is a vector this is a also a vector right but yeah. when these two vector are same when that is possible when a is equals to 0 and b is equals to zero, right yes so that this is precisely i have written so this is a vector as a whole this is a vector okay, okay. and okay. as a whole this is a vector and i am saying these two vectors are same when this is possible when they matches component wise right? yes 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 sir so ax equal to 0 so that zero means i i i i little bit confused because ax equal to 0 so mm -hmm. that means that is a zero vector suppose in case i change the zero vector as 0 1 then x equal to 0 sorry sir so, uh, like we are definition is like that ax equal to 0 yes so that zero is zero vector then i change the zero vector for my uh for my vector space like 0 1 0 mm -hmm. ah okay that that is what you were saying so again like so this is possible but again we are not dealing with uh, so from week uh, mostly this uh, uh week 4 or maybe 5 onwards your zero vector is always 0 0 0 okay so yeah so in previous weeks we study zero vector yeah, yeah. so one. zero vector can certainly zero vector uh, can be something different but uh so uh so this sort of situation generally don't occur uh, in your application okay mostly you will see uh, a vector space where your zero vector is precisely 0 0 0 okay okay so uh uh so this uh So this is, as you can see, this equation is also you can write it as uh, write it as x plus two y equals to zero, right? Yes, sir. So, yes. Sir. So eventually you are getting x plus two y equal to zero, zero. right? Yeah. That means your x equal to minus two y, two y, right? Yes, so sir. So and x, uh, so so x equal to two y. So what basically I am getting finally, I am getting x. X minus equal to minus two y, right? Y, comma y, y, where yes, y is y varies over r, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that means this is basically what you can say that this is uh, space. if you Basis. if you take y out, okay, this is minus two, two comma one, one, uh, where y is in r. So basically, you can directly say that this is your this is your null space right this is your null space right this is your null space of because this is a you have written explicitly right what is your null space it's basically all the tuples which are of this form okay and why your varies over r but even uh, after that i want to compute the nullity that means i want to compute the dimension of this space right so so i can write this set as y times uh, minus Two comma one, and where y belongs to r, and this is precisely what this is the span of minus two comma one, right? So, so it, and you can check that this is a linearly independent set, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, then what will be the dimension of your w? One. 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 Sir. Right? one. So dimension of w, which is your nullity. Yes. So, so for this matrix, right? For this matrix, the the null space is this one. Okay, this is your null space. Okay, sir. This, this, this okay, sir. I got it. Thank you, sir. This is your null space, and the yeah, and the dimension of W, which we are getting. Uh, so the dimension of W is one, and this this one is your nullity of A. Okay, so one is the nullity of A. so clear for for this uh, question sir i just yes, so yeah so, so, so in case the matrix a is a zero matrix mm -hmm. order 1 mm -hmm. so if i try to compute in, uh, compute it's a x equal to 0 that mm -hmm. means that uh, x equal to 0 mm -hmm. so um, what is my span here this is uh, so suppose you are taking a zero matrix right 
Yeah. Let me let me uh, take a two okay. plus two matrix. Okay. So what actually you are? Uh, so what again? You come back to your definition. What is W? W is all such x y, right? Such yeah. that a x equal to a x comma y equal to zero zero zero. Yes. So this is this is your zero matrix, right? Yes. So whatever this value of x y is, okay, you will oh. always get zero, right? Doesn't matter what you put instead yeah, of yeah. x y. Yeah. So so that that means I can write this as x comma y, right? Such that x, x comma y, y is yeah. in r. Right. Okay. So that means this is this is your goal. This is r two, right? Yes. This is how you define r. So the the null space here is total r two, right? And what is the dimension of R two? Two. Two. That means two is the nullity of this matrix A, right? So the null space of A is R two. Okay, this is your null space, and the dimension of this null space, which is two, two is the nullity of A. Clear? Yes. Clear, sir. Sir, in yeah. previous example, we have a, a span like minus two comma one, right? Mm -hmm. So, if any chance for any matrix, I will get span of zero comma zero. So, what is sorry, dimension? Sorry, 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 sir. If uh, any any matrix, I will get a span like zero comma zero. Then, what its uh, dimension? Okay, so for example, you take this one. Okay, one, two, uh, two, three. Right. Okay. So tell me, what will be the null space of this matrix? Um, you please compute. Try to compute the null space. I'm also doing. Yes. Same method. Okay. So if I write this, then what I will get? X comma Y, such that you have uh, uh, X plus two Y, two X plus three Y, which is zero zero. So can we conclude like the determinant is non-zero, so nullity would be zero? Yeah, you can conclude. Yeah, I'll come to that. Okay, but uh, since yeah, he, yeah, x comma y, I think zero, sir. Yeah. So, so if you compute the solution, right, then yeah. you will get zero, zero comma zero. Yes, yes. So, so this is the now this is a space, right? This is a vector subspace of R two, right? Yes, yes. This is a vector subspace of R two, right? So huh. this is your null space of A, right? This is your null space of of A, and and what is the dimension of this space? What is the if this is your null space? What is the dimension of the zero? Zero. 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 Dimension of W is zero. Okay, zero. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why. Uh, so if uh, someone already said, if see the y actually, so this is you can say this is uh, so this is an invertible matrix, right? So. So it's not nothing special about this matrix. Okay, if you take any invertible matrix, suppose A is an invertible matrix. Okay, A is an invertible matrix. Sir, right? but, uh, that single then yeah, that single then zero comma zero is not a linearly independent, right? Yes, yes. That's why. So actually, uh, so uh, see this W. Okay, so the W, you can write this W as a span. Simply, you can write this as a span of zero comma zero, right? But the problem is, this is not linearly independent. Not linearly independent. Right? Yes, it's not a linearly independent. So, so basically, why actually? So in generally, you write this zero space as a so this is by definition you write this as a span of empty set. Empty set. Okay. okay. And 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 also by definition, this empty set is a linearly independent. Set. Okay, empty set is a linearly independent set, and the cardinality of empty set is what zero, right? So okay. that's why the dimension of W is zero. Zero. Now I got it, sir. Yeah. Okay, so uh, sir, said, uh, uh, sir, uh, how dimension is equal to 
nullity sir i didn't get that by definition by definition the dimension is equals to nullity okay. so sir, uh, sir but in the lecture uh, lecture also that lecture also rank uh, yeah, some kind of a uh, zero in non zero rows and zero rows independent Again, like and I'll, dependent variable i will suggest is go and check the lecture so by def so so the so if you go and check the lecture okay so he defined this space w Okay, yes, this yes. is the null space. Okay, yes. and the dimension of this null space W is precisely your nullity. Okay, and okay, okay. we are computing actually. We are, we have taken few examples and we are computing W and as well as the dimension of W. Okay. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. So, yeah. Because I got confused that. So. Yes. Yeah. So this is so again. I I said uh, so. I have taken invertible matrix. So yes. it's not nothing special about this matrix. You pick any invertible matrix. Okay, you pick any in invertible matrix of of order m cross n right so now if a cross a times x is zero right we are basically what we are searching we are searching x such that this happens right yes so 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 I, what i actually want to show x equal to zero vector is the only possible candidate for this one okay. yes zero is the only possible candidate for this one why because if a x equal to 0 since i know a is invertible then mm -hmm. you multiply a inverse both sides okay yes. what you will get if you multiply a inverse then what you will identity matrix uh, okay sorry i have made a mistake <coughs> this should be invertible matrix of order n cross n okay so you you multiply a inverse then what you will get this right yes. as a result your x is 0 yeah. right so Zero is the only possible candidate for for this system when A is a invertible matrix. That means my W is what W is only zero vector, right? And that means the nullity of A is zero, zero. right? Okay. Clear? Any any question so far? Sir, uh, so if the nullity is the uh, like the set of places where uh, A X is equal to zero. Hmm. Uh, what is this? Is the not rank? the nullity. This is not the nullity. Okay. Sorry, the null space. Null space. Yeah. Then, uh, what does the rank mean? Like, rank the nullity is the dimension of the null space. So, yeah. what is the rank? Rank is how how you define rank. You take the so you you consider this matrix A, right? Suppose hmm. you consider this matrix one, two, three, four, right? Yeah. Now, you consider the column space. Okay. So not column space. You eventually they will get, give you the same thing. You consider the row space. What is row space here? Uh, the like, space formed by the row vectors. So like one comma two and three comma four. Three comma space four. span by that. Yes, yeah, span span. So this is some some R, right? Uh, maybe yeah. not. Let's say this is W. This let's say this is U. Okay. So this is U. Okay. Right. So this dimension of U is precisely the rank of A. Okay. And uh, so this is this is uh, this is your so 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 what basically I'm saying the dimension of U, which is dimension of the row space, is precisely the rank of A. Okay. And one more thing actually you can uh, 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 say. So if you even if you consider this co column space, okay, what is this column space? Span of one comma three and two comma four. One comma three and two comma four, right? Yeah. So. So actually, uh, okay. So you can actually show that this dimension of this column space is also same as the dimension of the row space okay and this is this this is this this dimension of the column space will also give you the rank of a uh, sir but does this have like a geometric significance like you can Geomet visualize the null space geometrically but like rank does it have something like that no, certainly this has a geometric significance, right? You are actually, you are basically, you are taking the span, right? In yeah, this, 
the span has a geometrical is a geometric got it, got it. significance right so yes, you are yes, yes. yeah and the dimension of the span is the got it, got it. rank of yeah, yeah. of the matrix got it. okay Sir, so row space yeah hmm. so so row space what do you do just take a row of that matrix and uh, all the row all the rows all the rows of a matrix and calculate uh, what are the what are the uh, this vector span what that is that is we do yes 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 that is the row space yeah okay so suppose the matrix is like 1 comma 2 and 1 1 to 1 to mm -hmm. so the span of 1 to and 1 to is span of 1 comma 2 yes correct correct that so, is Okay. Yes. Sir, actually, I have a small question in activity 5.1. Mm -hmm. Question number 11. Yeah. Like, can I share my screen? No, I can see this question. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'll come, question... I'll come to that. Just, just okay, give okay. me a minute. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Sir, why are we interested in uh, row space and column space here? Sorry? Sir, oh, why are we um, interested in row space and column space here? Again, I, I I can give you the same answer, right? See, the whole, I, as I said, see, there are a lot of region of studying this uh, row space and column space. Okay, so okay. even uh, this matrix also, they are associated with some differential equation. Okay, so as... Uh, so, but for this course, one of the main reason why actually we are studying because all this matrix what we are studying here, they are they are associated to this, this linear transformation. Yeah, yeah, that's that's thing I got it. Yeah. yeah. So, I, uh, my doubt is uh, hmm. why we include because row space and column space we study in week four. So suddenly hmm. uh, you include here. Mm -hmm. So what are the point you trying to tell with this concept row space and column space? So the row space will basically will give you the rank, right? And this rank is 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 uh, in in some sense it's closely related to the nullity. Okay, that is what the rank nullity theorem tells you, right? Rank. Yeah. Yeah. So Sir, actually, in uh, I think in week four we have a ro form a row space matrix. Then we go into RREF or something like that. Mm -hmm. Then we find the number of non-zero rows equal to rank of A. Mm -hmm. So here you you use span. So that's why I'm a little bit confused. That is the definition. I'm just giving you the definition. There are other way of finding this row space and column space, right? So this is see this is the definition I'm giving, right? Right. This is the definition I am giving. Right. So if you if you take some seven cross seven matrix, okay, if okay. you try to compute in this way, it will take lot of time. Right. Yes. If you go to some, if you uh, uh, so if you see any uh, computer algorithm, okay, they don't they don't sim they don't use this method, right? Directly computation. They okay. they use the algorithms that are actually uh, described you in the uh, lecture okay, okay. the Ga gauss elimination uh, method yes. Okay. yes so this this part actually i am doing i am basically giving you the definition okay, okay. i'm not yes. i'm not giving you anything else okay this is how you you define it okay then there are other methods uh, of finding the row space and uh, column space okay. yes yes i got it sir yeah. thank you so okay so so the next thing is uh, the next uh, question is how how you compute uh, uh, this uh, what uh, null, no, null space yeah yeah correct so next question is how you compute the null space so uh, so Salem uh, explain you the method or shall I take an example and start explaining you the method? example is better sir. example yeah. okay. example is better so Okay, so uh, let me pick an example from, from your, uh, I'm probably it's in, in your activity, okay. So you consider this example. And if you have any problem, stop me there, okay. After explaining the whole question, then don't ask me to explain from the beginning. Okay, 
uh, 456-246. Right? So, uh, this is my matrix. Right? And I want to compute the null space of offer. I want to compute the null space of And you know the definition, right? So this is uh, W and W is what? X such that A times X is zero. zero. Right? And you can see where this zero belongs and where this X belongs. You can you can easily uh, check uh, by by looking at this matrix. Yes. So what what actually we want to we want so our main target if I multiply A with with this X okay let's say my x is uh, x y j right this is my x so if i multiply a times this x then what i will get i'll get a system of equation right yes uh, x plus 2y plus 3z goes to 0 right then 4x plus 5y plus 6 is it equal to 0 2x plus 4y plus 6 is it equal to 0? 5 plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. So, what I want? So, I want to compute this, compute the all the solution of this system. Okay. So, all the solution of this system is precisely W, right? Yes. So, yes, sir. so what actually I will do? I'll I'll create a, a, a matrix. Okay the Gauss elimination process, right? Using yes. the Gauss elimination process, you uh, you find the solution of, of the system of linear equation, right? So now, yes. you, now we start uh, taking the augmented matrix. So if I take the augmented matrix, then what I will get? One, One two, three. Two, three. Two. Uh, again, here I will get zero, 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 right? Yes. Sir. This is four, five, six, uh, <coughs> two, four, six. And one thing is, there is no point of writing this uh, this last column, right? Yes. Because yes, if sir. I do arithmetic here, then eventually I'll get only zero, right? Yes, so there is no point of writing this uh, last column. Okay. So I'll simply remove. It. So next, uh, so I need to find the row reduce echelon form of this matrix. So first, what I need to do, uh, I, can, I can make this zero, right? Yes, yes. yes. So R2 minus four. Yeah. So uh, R2 minus four R1. Four R1. Correct. So this is one, two, three. This is uh, zero uh, minus three, three. Uh, minus six. Minus six. Okay. Then this is two, four, six. So the next target is to make this zero, right? Yes, sir. And this is easy. Yeah, whole because row will be zero. R three minus. Yeah. Whole row will become zero. Correct. So this is R three minus two minus R two. Two R two. So oh. one. 2, two three, 3, 0, minus 3, minus 6, 0, 0, 0, zero. right? Yes. So, then the next thing, what I need to make? Minus 3 into minus one. Three minus 3 into 1. Correct. 1, 2, 3. Zero, one, one, two, two, zero, zero, zero. R one minus two R two. Yeah. Next. So, yes. Yeah, so then, okay. Like, uh, uh, if I do what I will get one. Uh, uh, this I will get one zero, right? Zero one. One. <laughs> Zero, zero, one, two, zero, 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 one, two. And the last row is zero. 
ओके एनीथिंग एल्स आंसर 10 माइनस 1 होगा सो दिस इज दिस इज इन योर रो इक्वेशन रिड्यूस रो इक्वेशन रिड्यूस रो इक्वेशन सो सो द thing is now uh, what are the p birds here sir so, x and y first column and second column first and second, second column this is a p bird right this is a this is a p bird right right two p birds right so that means how many uh, थिंग इज सो बेसिकली your nullity of a is 1 Null, nullity of a is the number of independent, independent variables variables independent variable this is your null one right so which is one for this case okay and so now by just looking at the uh, is matrix you can you can say the uh, this row reduce sl1 come please mute yes uh, so uh, uh, you can say the nullity of this matrix okay but what we want even we, we want to compute one more thing what is that out the null space null space, null space. Null space of a a so now if i if i convert this matrix okay into a system of linear equation what i will get x minus x minus z equals 0 and y plus 2z equals 0 x minus z is equals to 0 and y plus 2z equals 0 equal 0 right and z equal to 0 and uh, that is basically 0 0 equals to 0 Okay, so this is so so i so i want to get the null space i want to find the solution all the solution of this system right yes sir. so how i can get so here what is the independent variable is z z sir it is the independent variable. independent variable independent variable okay so <laughs> what i can do now i can simply take Z equal to one, right? Yes, sir. So if I take Z equal to one, then what I will get? X equal to one, one. and y is minus, y equal minus, minus, two. minus two. Okay, and and this basically, so once you do, uh, once you take Z equal to one, so in particular you are actually, uh, so this this will give you a solution, right? Yeah, one, one, two, one, two, one, 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 right? So the span of this one, okay, mm -hmm. the span of this one is precisely your null space, null space, null space of a, space of a. So here, since here you have only one independent variable, okay. Sir, I That's have one question. Uh, just a minute. Since you have only one independent variable here, okay. That's why. You are getting this. This null space is basically spanned by a one dimension, by a single element. So this is this is one dimension. Okay, this is one dimension. So this nullity, which is precisely the dimension of this one, is one. Okay. Any question? Yes, sir. So as Z is independent, so we can we can take any value of Z, like one, two, three, four. So yeah, yeah, you can you can. Yeah, in that regard, the value of y and z will also change. Yeah, Then, yeah. yeah. Uh, will the span 
you will get the same thing okay you will get a, a multiple of that one okay. oh yeah right okay so see if instead of considering this this i can also write this as span of two minus four two two right yes they are basically the same yes sir yes any other question So, sir, if there are two unknowns, so once we put one, I mean, let's say Z and W, two unknowns. So we are putting Z as one, W as zero, and then W as one, oh, Z as Yeah, zero. so suppose, suppose what you have, suppose you have a system like this. So eventually, suppose you are getting, uh, uh, let's say, let, let me take a matrix, which is uh, one, zero, uh, one, zero. Okay, and zero, uh, one, zero, one. Okay, uh, then zero. Zero, zero, zero. Please, please mute you. Yeah, your your mic is on. So, uh, this is a uh, four plus three matrix, right? Yes, sir. Uh, not four cross three. Sorry, uh, this is a three, three cross four, three. Matrix. four matrix. So, three. so it has two uh, independent variable. independent variable, right? This and this x. Uh, so this is independent variable. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the it has two uh, dependent variable, right? Yes, two independent. Two independent. And, two independent. and as well as two independent. <laughs> Right. So now if you write X, Y, Z, W, right. So now if you write, uh, so from, from now you can say, what, what will be the nullity of this matrix? Two. 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 Why? Two. Because you have two independent, two independent, yeah. independent variables. So this is the nullity of this matrix. Nullity of this matrix A. <laughs> So now I want to, so I know now what, what I want, I want to find the null space. Okay. So if I write the matrix, then what I will get, uh, I'll get X minus Z X plus Z equals, equals to zero. And Y plus uh, W equals zero. Plus w. Y plus W equals to zero. Okay. So I have two independent variables, right? And uh, this one is Z and another one is what uh, w independent w. yeah so first what i will do i'll take z equal to 1 okay and w equals to 0 right so yes sir i'll assign 1 to 1 to one of the independent variable and w to uh, 0 to rest of the independent variable then i will compute the solution so what i will get here if z equal to 1 then x equal to Minus one, right? And what is so y? Can I take another uh, any uh, real number for w? Uh, you can take if you want. You can take no problem. Okay. Uh, but I, I I just following a uh, uh, method like I'm I'm always taking z equal to one. If you want, you can take z equal to two. Okay, no problem. Uh, so then, then 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 you you will get uh, x equal to minus two, uh, minus two. Okay, that's all. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so there is nothing special about uh, taking one. Okay. So one, if you take one, then you are actually in the, uh, in the, uh, you have to do less calculation. That's all. Okay. okay so. Uh, so, so this will give you a solution. What is that? Uh, minus one, zero, one, one zero. zero, right? Yeah. And, and the next is you have to take, since I have taken, taken z equal to 1 and w equal to 0. Now what I will take? I will take z, uh, z equal to 0 and w equal to 1. So in that case, what I will get? Uh, y zero. equal to minus 1 and x equal to 0, right? And this will give me what? 0 uh, minus zero zero one. 1, 0, 1. one. Okay, so I have two. So basically, as you can see, this these two things are linearly independent right 
because you have yes, two sir. users, you have a non-zero element here, and you have a zero element. Here. Okay, so so the null space of the matrix A, okay, null space, null space of A is nothing but it's the span of these two elements. Span of one zero one zero zero minus one zero one. Okay, this is the null space of A. This is the nullity two. And and what is where this nullity is coming? This is precisely the dimension of this. Yes, sir. Can we say it also the basis of a null space? A? Can we say? Wow, well, what basis of the null space? A cardinality is... of the basis of null space. Okay, that is precisely the definition of dimension. So yes. I didn't understand why uh, we took w equal to zero in first and z equal to zero in second. Can we not take any another number like z equal to one and w equal to two or anything else? Sorry, sir. In this z equal to one and w equal to zero, you have taken. Mm -hmm. uh, so can you we... can do that, but the problem is if you do that, maybe you may end up with. Uh, so here, the the thing is why actually we are taking z equal to one, w equal to zero. This will ensure that each process, okay, you are getting some some linearly independent thing. Okay, if you take z equal to one and w equal to two, okay. Then you yes. may end, end up with some, and here also, if, if you take z equal to some two and w equal to one, you so in in the end you may get two elements which are linearly dependent. Okay, if you do like this, okay, it will ensure that whatever you are getting, okay, this yeah. and this, they are, they are linearly independent. Okay, sir, thank you. Sir, uh, let's say uh, there are more than two independent variable. Hmm. So then, how we will take the uh, the zero one convention? How this will work? Uh, how you are going? Uh, what is your prediction? I have already done for two uh, uh, cases. Well, what is your prediction now? How you should do it? One zero. Then we should we take uh, one for one variable and zero for uh, rest of yeah, the. Yeah, that is that is that is the way. Suppose if you have uh, three independent variable, let's say. X, Y, and uh, Z. Okay. So first, you take X equal to one, and zero for Y and Z. Yeah. Then you compute the solution. Okay. Then similarly, you proceed. Okay. It doesn't matter how many. Then you take Y equal to one, and X, uh, Z equal to zero. Then you take Z equal to one. Uh, you you take Y X equal to zero. So so in that case, you will get three linearly independent. Uh, vectors okay this this and this and the span of v1 v2 v3 is precisely your null space any question so sir, far I have a question sir please yeah so consider if i have a, a linear system of linear equations three linear equations and three unknowns mm -hmm. so x y z like that so mm -hmm. x y z both of them are independent variable three independent variables three so, independent variable yeah that is possible when you have a zero yeah, matrix. Uh, uh, zero. no so it is also possible for invertible matrix, yes, matrix. No, see, invertible matrix you will always get dependent variable okay so yeah, 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 yeah. so if you take an invertible matrix okay three cross three invertible matrix and if yes, you if you if you if you take the row reduce echelon form, what you will get? Identity you get so one, identity matrix. Identity one, one. one. So that yeah. means you have three dependent variables. Right? Correct. Correct. So 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 when you will get three independent variables? Okay. When you have matrix. you have a zero matrix, right? Yes. Sir. You no have a zero. There. So that means that is only possible if you consider a zero matrix. Zero matrix. So otherwise you will never get a uh, zero matrix. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, can I ask one query? Mm, please. Yeah. Uh, so we have taken uh, Z as one and W as zero, but can we take as both as zero uh, at one time and then uh, both same uh, like one one uh, for the second time? So will sorry, that? Sorry. Uh, can you can you repeat? Uh, you are taking so here. Uh, no, no. In earlier uh, that for for four, huh? Mm -hmm. So here we have taken um, z equal to one and w equal to zero. So can mm -hmm. we take z one and w one so that the set of uh, that solution will be 
entirely different and will that be linearly independent so that is what i am saying see in some case they may be linearly independent okay but in some case they may be linearly dependent okay so so you have to uh, choose it uh, careful okay if you choose some arbitrary thing okay then then maybe you may end up with uh, some linearly dependent thing so it's be, it's always better to take this sort of uh, choices okay so what what actually basically so when you are taking z equal to 1 w equal to 0 right so here you have uh, you have uh, so for this one here z equal to z is 1 right mm -hmm. w is non zero and ah. here what you have you have w is uh, non zero one. And Z is zero. That means these two things they cannot be linearly dependent because if you multiply alpha with this thing, the the W co coordinate is always zero, right? Yes. So that means this cannot be a uh, this cannot lie in the span of this shape, this element, right? So that no. that is the that is the one of the advantage of taking this sort of uh, coordinates for this. Uh, uh, this sort of uh, values for this uh, independent variables. Okay. You, yeah. you, as I said, you yeah. can no, you can take okay, but in <laughs> some in some case, as I said, you may end up with some linearly dependency. Okay. You have huh. to do it carefully. Okay, because if we take zero zero, then we will uh, get zero 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 as a solution, and if we take one one, then a, a different set of solution we will get. So. Uh, no, I, I, as I said, for some actually, case, actually in week four only, they said that the only non-zero rows could be considered as the basis. So that is that like, is a something different thing. Okay, don't uh, 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 mix uh, these two things. Okay, so uh, so one of the reason, as I said, okay, so again I am uh, saying it again. If you you can consider. Uh, some different number instead of one and zero but you have to do it carefully so that whatever you are getting here and getting here they are linearly independent okay yeah. if if you can ensure that then then you can you can take the value that you have taken okay otherwise okay. Uh, otherwise you may get a linearly dependent set and that will give you if you if you have to linearly independent if you get to linearly dependent set okay uh -huh this v1 v2 and suppose v v1 and v2 are linearly dependent right in that case this span will give you a one dimensional space right because v1 and v2 are linearly dependent okay mm -hmm. so th this will not give you the complete null space it will give you a subspace of the null space okay, okay. so you should you should choose in this way uh, and probably this is the easiest way okay of doing yeah. uh, this uh, computing the, this uh, basis of the null space. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any other question? Okay. So, so now uh, uh, let me, uh, yeah. So there is a question activity 5.1, question number 10. Uh, we have to find the nullity of the matrix, but I'm not able to form the matrix. So what the question is saying, I'm not able to understand. Would you please explain? Yeah, and anyone, uh, I'll come to that. Anyone has doubt in question number one? Sir, uh, uh, I have, sir. Question number one? Yes. Uh, what this, is your doubt? The null space of the matrix is given as A4 cross 3. Mm -hmm. uh, how do we say that, uh, you know, I didn't understand the how to decide on the options. What is what is the order of this matrix? Four, four rows, three columns. Four rows, three columns, four plus three matrix. Right? Yeah. yeah. How how you define the null space? Uh, null space is uh, uh, the number of uh, nullity is the number of uh, independent uh, variables. Null space. No, this is, is not the definition. Okay, you tell me the definition. I have written the definition in the beginning. Don't. Yeah. This is yeah. the definition, right? You yes. tell me the definition. I am not asking about the equivalent definition. You tell me the the definition that you have studied in the very beginning. So X belongs to R3. X belongs to R. Uh, Where? R3. No, I am asking whoever uh, asked this question. Okay. okay. So yeah. yeah. Uh, See what what you want. You want this to make sense, right? A X equal to zero. Zero. Yes. So when when this 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 uh, 
notation has mm -hmm. some meaning when you have a matrix a okay and you want to multiply something some element of r n right yeah so when you can do that so this is a four cross three matrix right yes so you can multiply okay, only okay, when, okay. okay. Only yes when so this three is, cross this one is three cross one three cross one okay, right? okay. that yes. means r is a element yes. of element of r3 r3 right that yeah. means w is a subspace of r3 see that that is what we are doing here right if you see here what yeah. actually we are, we are taking so <clears> here <throat> what is what is the order of this matrix a is m cross n m cross n yes so when i can multiply a with some so what should be the order of this x n, n cross 1 n cross uh, one right one. yes so that's why i've written here x is okay. inside rn yeah yes sir got it thank you sir yeah yeah so any in uh, any doubt from question number 2 so seventh question the fourth no, option no 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 uh, any anyone has any doubt on question number 2 okay so uh, sir i just joined uh, which activity you are doing sir no uh, 5.1 5.1 okay sir yeah so any doubt from question number 2 no sir uh 3 no sir no 4 no no uh 5 no 6 i have already done it uh 7 7 someone yes, asked me seventh yes yeah. sir last option uh, mm -hmm. i am not able to understand uh, it if x is in yes. s then so what is s where s denote the set of uh, homogeneous uh, system of linear equations that is precisely the null space right yes right this is your s right so it's saying uh, you you have problem with the last option right yes yes sir uh it's saying if x is in uh in s this should imply that 8 a n, x is hello? also zero uh, please hello. mute yourself hello yeah so see if x is inside s that means this holds right yes sir yes sir now again you multiply a both the sides okay what you will get 8 okay. of 8 yes is also zero and yes what is this this is precisely a to a, a power 2x equal to 0 yes. right again you multiply a. what you will get a power 2 so times so n times yeah it doesn't matter what the n is you will always get a n power x is also okay Fine. thank you sir yeah uh any doubt from question number 8 yes no, i did not get question number 8 yeah well, what is your doubt uh, find out the value of a for which the matrix nullity the of matrix the matrix is 1 right 1 yeah 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 a right so how you compute the nullity tell me uh like the e independent variables when we just uh, reduce it to row echelon form yeah yeah tell me how what is the row reduce echelon form of this mat matrix uh, it's like okay. compute it yeah hmm what you need to do you need to just if one... we multiply uh, the first two with 3 uh, and subtract it we would get zero here zero and this is a minus 6 yeah right yeah so what you want you want this nullity of this matrix to be one one right and when this the nullity of this matrix is one when the number of independent variable independent be. variable is one one so one. this is certainly it's a dependent variable right yes 
if this becomes also a dependent variable then you are in trouble right yes because then you will end up with two dependent variable no, yeah. in that case the independent variable will be zero so what you want you want this to be zero yeah. right then yeah. then only you will get one dependent variable right yes yes so so this is possible only when a equal to 6 clear okay. yes yeah thank you sir. yeah question number 9 Anyone has doubt on question number nine? Activity five point one, question number nine. Okay. What about question number ten? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ten. Hmm. What is your doubt? First, tell me what is the matrix? Eh? It would be the minimum of I J. Uh, it's three cross three matrix. Yeah, that that I understand. Tell okay, just a minute. Let me take a photo. What is that? Yeah, tell me what is the matrix? Eh? Now it must be uh, one 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 two two and one two three. Uh, one, 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 one two two, one two two two. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. What is the row reduce echelon form of this matrix? Uh, one, 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 uh, and zero, zero, zero. Like one, 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 zero. Hello. Compute the row reduce echelon form. That at least you should compute. Okay, I am not going to do it. It's CG. You tell me the row reduce SL form. Once you have this row reduce SL form, then this will give you the answer, right? You just need to compute the row reduce SL. Form. Yes, sir. I missed it. Uh, one, one, one. Yeah, and zero, zero. Oh, both the rows zero. Yeah. Then you are done, right? If this is, if you have done it correctly, okay, then you have only one dependent variable, right? Yes, sir. Then what is the number of independent variables? Two. 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 And this is precisely the analytic, right? I'm not sure of the answer. I think there are two. Uh, she has made a mistake. Uh, the thing is not a two zero row thing. It's... Yeah, it, it's a three, three sir, pivots are there. There is a one. It's a linearly independent set. Uh, yeah, it yeah, is. Like yeah, it has yeah, three pivots. Correct, correct. So these two are certainly linearly independent. So at least you should get two non-zero uh, uh, row in your row reduce SL on form. Sir, I think the answer is zero, sir. All three are dependent. Yeah, sir. All three rows are non-zero rows. So okay, so then will be zero. Okay, then you compute uh, carefully. That would be an identity matrix. Yeah. So if that is the case, yeah, you please compute it carefully. Okay. Row reduce SL. So I'll come on already. Many. No, sir. I have a doubt over here. So uh -huh. the first column, uh, the first uh, first column, of first row, that element. Hmm. Uh, the minimum of one comma one should be zero. Sorry, Sorry minimum of. The minimum of one and one. What would be? This is one, right? Or one, sir? Why? Uh, how the first know? element. Yeah, this is the what? Minimum of one comma one, right? Yes. Sir. What is the minimum between one and one? So nothing is minimum. They both are equal, isn't it? Yeah, that so if you it's have one. a single, if you have a only one element and what then what is the minimum? That is that is the only one element. So, one so this is what yeah, this is one. We, then similarly you can compute you have if you have two, two, then also you will get two. Okay, because you have only one element to compare. Then that that has to be the minimum element, right? So uh, again, yeah, you please compute the row reduce SLM form and this is the row reduce SLM form. If this is the row reduce SLM form, then your nullity is zero. Nullity is zero because you have uh, all the variables are their dependent variable. So the number of independent variable is zero, which is precisely the nullity. Okay.
क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन सर सर आई हैव आई हैव डाउट सर फोर्थ ऑप्शन फोर्थ ऑप्शन यस यस सर ओके So so I had a general doubt like what is the sense of non-zero matrix over here? So we have to consider all non-zero elements or no, no, only, no, no. only no. one. Yeah. So so the thing is, you must have at least one. So one entry of that matrix should be non-zero. Okay, that is the definition of non-zero matrix. For example, this is a non-zero matrix. Okay. This is a non-zero matrix because you have. A element which is non-zero. If, if the one, if one of the entries of the matrix uh, is non-zero, uh, please mute yourself. Okay. Please mute yourself. Yeah. So if one of the matrix is uh, one of the entry of the matrix is non-zero, then this matrix is non-zero. so this is a non zero matrix for example if i take this one this is also a non zero matrix because i need only one now i have two okay this is also a non zero matrix but if all the entries are zero then i call this matrix as a zero matrix okay so clear with the definition but sir non zero scalar means uh, uh, all the डायगोनल एंट्रीज आर सेम ओके Yeah, yeah. So if one of them is non-zero, that means all of them are non-zero, oh. right? Yeah. So, so yeah. This, is, this is a scalar matrix, and C is so when C is non-zero, then you you say this matrix as a non-zero scalar matrix. And what about diagonal non-zero diagonal matrix, sir? C two. C so one, C two, C three. So again, you, you can easily say that, right? If this is a no, if you have a non-zero scalar matrix, then this is this is invertible matrix right yes yes that means sir. the nullity is zero right yes sir yeah so this so option 2 sir uh, option 4 is the 4 only doubts are again yeah, yeah yeah let me let me come to this so, so what do you mean by non zero <laughs> scalar matrix uh, sorry uh, diagonal right. matrix so what diagonal matrix you have a B, a b c c right so you have so many cases right so in one case you have you may you may have something like this 0 1 2 right But can we have zero sir because zero non zero mein can we have zero 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 one also possible right this is a this is also a non zero scalar matrix as uh, not scalar diagonal matrix but you can't have this 0 0 0 this is not allowed because this is a zero zero okay, okay so the zero solves the question so so the thing yeah, is at most yeah so for for this case the nullity is what for this case the nullity is 1 okay for this case the nullity is 2 so that's why the maximum possible uh, nullity for a non zero scalar matrix is two. okay okay thank you sir thank you sir sir like we had a similar question in the practice assignment which uh, says that we have a 3 cross 1 non zero matrix so hmm. do we need to consider a, a matrix which has only one non zero element or do we need to consider a matrix which has all non zero elements this depend what it's asking Okay, you you need to consider all the possible cases. Okay. So, but the answer type is NAT, so we need to put only one answer. So that is what I am saying. You uh, you tell me the complete question. You are basically saying the part of a question. Then how I can uh, tell you what you need to consider? So the question says like A is a uh, three cross one non-zero matrix. Huh. Then find the rank of A into A transpose. That's A into A transpose. we have to find the rank yeah 
So, okay, so this is sort of uh, someone I guess uh, in the beginning he asked me how, how you compare the rank of. Yes, sir, like multiplied matrices. Yes, yes. So, uh, okay, you can actually check. So, the rank of A times B is always less than minimum of rank of A, comma rank of B. Rank of A. Sorry, uh, what I meant? Rank, rank, rank A, rank B, right? So, so this is this is the uh, thing. So when you have a three cross one non-zero matrix, okay, this is a non-zero matrix. So what what is the rank of this this one A? So it can be one maximum. One, right? Yeah. The maximum value is one, not maximum value. If it is non-zero, then it is precisely one, right? There is no maximum. It's precisely one. Okay. So that means this rank of a times a transpose is nothing but is the minimum of one and one right correct yes sir and this is this is yes sir this is one right yes 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 now the question is now the question is a is non zero right a is non zero right so let's say a is a b c uh, 3 cross 1 yeah a b c right so that means uh, that means a transpose is non zero right if i multiply a with a transpose what i will get you will get another non zero 3 by 3 matrix 3 cross 3 matrix uh, this is 1 cross 3 right i will get a so whatever so my point is whatever it is a times a transpose this is also a non zero matrix right this is also a non zero matrix that means the rank of this matrix is at least one because it's a non zero matrix right the rank of this matrix is at least one right that means yes. this rank of a transpose yes. a is always greater than or equal to one and what i am saying the rank of matrix is also less than or equal to one okay that means the rank of a into a transpose is precisely one okay so this is this is uh, the thing you need to remember and if you want to prove that is also not difficult uh, sir can you extend this to nullity as well mm, nullity for uh, nullity of a nullity of b nullity of ab uh, is there a relationship uh, actually it's difficult to tell one thing i can say that uh, okay which is uh, easy okay so suppose you have matrix a and b a and b okay okay sorry suppose you have a matrix a b uh, then nullity of t of a b which is okay this is strictly get a Okay, not straight greater than it's greater than or equal to nullity of B. Okay, that uh, I can clearly say. Uh, so why? Because if X is in in nullity of B, okay, hmm. B right? Then a B X, right? Got it. Got it. So, so it's a into bx, hmm. which is hmm. so it will be less than 2. Yeah. 
so uh, what about nullity of a can i say anything about that as well uh, no i don't think i can say because it's depend how how b is behaving okay. so yeah that is what i can say okay sir see the problem is actually what is the problem you can have two non zero matrix okay you can have two non zero matrix but the product of these two matrix is zero matrix so uh that is one of the problem with nullity okay so that's why you, you don't have this sort of relation okay sir for null but I, this is certainly this is true uh yeah because sir in the practice assignment again like they asked something about it mm -hmm. uh and nullity of yeah it they asked about nullity of ab and like express it in terms of nullity of a and nullity of b okay yes uh, it's depend like like in some situation uh, uh i can say um, this uh, thing uh so so the easiest case is if b is invertible or let's say a is invertible in that in that case actually it's really easy okay. other piece mute yourself so so if a is invertible invertible then i can say that nullity of a b is same as nullity of b okay and if similarly if b is invertible then nullity of ab is same as nullity of a yeah so got it sir yeah so how you say this sir call to question uh so how you say this sir nullity of ab equal to nullity of b is invertible like right? b is in uh, so sub, you consider this a is invertible right yes so when a x equal to 0 so if it is invertible then only x is 0 x precisely x equal to 0 yeah. yeah so then what will be the nullity of a b x if b x is not 0 right okay that means this is also not 0 right yeah so yeah. this is this is zero a b x is zero precisely when b x is zero right yeah yes so that Which means the nullity of b. that this is precisely the nullity of b. okay sir and similarly you can argue, argue with, with this case as well yes sir okay yeah so what is the next uh anything else from 5.1 yeah uh, 12 question number 12 is easy right it's a 2 cross 2 matrix so so i had a general doubt mm -hmm. sir x equal to 1 like if we are having a set of uh, equations we are given so mm -hmm. can we have two different set of spans for the same set of equations two set of span in the sense uh, what what you what basically it means like two different set of spans like when we do the row reduced Eklin form see, we obtain... uh, so so see if you have a vector space okay it can have two different bases right yes sir so similarly you can have two different spanning set as well right? so for example uh, if you go back maybe some questions so here this is the span right even you can yes. write even you can write this as also span of this thing right minus two uh zero so zero two or z sir minus two zero two mm -hmm. correct correct yeah right. this also you can write right so spanning set is not unique right but as a whole, you, you will get the same thing. The null space is always same. You will not get two different null space. Okay. But the spanning set for the null space can be different. Yes, I got it. Yeah. 
any anything else from 5.1 okay so let's go to 5.2 okay so there is nothing is there in 5.2 basically i have explained uh, you most of the things in uh, 5.2 the only thing which is uh, crucial okay is it's uh, it's probably the one of the most uh, important thing is the rank nullity theorem. Okay, so so this has a lot of application in the sense you can solve a lot of questions using this theorem. Rank nullity theorem. Theorem for for a matrix. Okay, so. And it's really easy to state. Okay. So suppose you have a matrix A cross N, right? This is the standard way M cross N, right? So, so what uh, rank nullity theorem says, if, if uh, it basically says rank of A, A and nullity of A, is nothing but it's equal to one. n uh, n yeah correct number of unknowns number of unknowns yes so so you can see right why actually this is uh, really important so so the thing is if you know the nullity okay of a then you don't have to compute the rank right because you can simply subtract it okay. and somehow if you know the rank okay then then uh, the nullity is nullity also you can compute okay. so uh, what uh, i want to say so uh, so again like if you if you see for for uh, for the case of for invertible matrix if a is invertible right then you know what is the what is the nullity of this this a zero the nullity of a is zero right and and by if you apply then this is precisely says the rank of a is three n, n right n. And, and that is that that's why you you get always a if you take the row reduce echelon form okay uh, then basically you always get an identity matrix right yeah. Okay. So you you will actually you can appreciate it if I solve some of the question from uh, from activity. Okay. So okay. So let me start uh, solving five point two as well. Yes, sir. Uh, before going to that, I have one doubt actually. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can we say uh, the rank of uh, matrix is equal to uh, number of dependent variables? Because uh, the nullity of a matrix is uh, equal to number of independent variables. Mm -hmm. That's why rank and nullity are are basically again. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, so so what is rank? Rank. So if you see how you define. So when Sir actually com, uh, gave you the algorithm to compute the rank, how actually you compute the rank? Rank is precisely the number of non-zero. Yeah, non-zero. Uh, non that means uh, number of dependent variables. Non-zero yes. rows, number of non-zero non -zero rows. Non-zero row. So number of non-zero row is precisely the number of dependent variable. Okay. Okay. This yeah. is the number of dependent variable. Okay. And yeah, this is the, the this is the number of independent variable. Dep independent. Yeah, that's all. Uh, sir, uh, one more request. Uh, we are doing a uh, job and uh, can we extend the practice assignment uh, dates because uh, the practice assignment dates are uh, too early compared to graded assignments. So when, when, that's why uh, when is the last date of practice assignment? Today, sir. Yeah, today only. Today. today. Okay. Always okay. it will close it before two to three days before graded assignments. Okay. So when you want. I could not want, able to. When you want to postpone it. Uh, at least uh, it is uh, equivalent to graded assignment so that uh, in that time one day before we can submit the practice assignment after the next date we can submit okay. the graded assignment okay i'll ask to subhajit and susmita yeah because uh, i almost uh, submitted the all graded assignments but i could not submit the uh, 
uh, even a single assignment of practice assignment. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll talk with them. Okay. Again, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. My hand probably is the on the hand of Suhaji Thin. So. Okay, so now, sir, by, by seeing the order of the matrix, can we uh, tell about the rank? No, no, no. That is not possible. Okay. By just simply looking at the matrix, you can't. Again, okay. if it is easy, then probably, for example, if you have uh, some scalar matrix or some diagonal matrix. Okay. No, but uh, the question, uh, some of the questions they say, ki if A is a three cross four matrix, then the rank must be uh, this much rank. Okay, must be okay, I'll come to that. Five. You are talking about the questions of five point two, right? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Let me let me go one by one. Okay. Yes. I have enough time to solve all the questions of okay, like sir. most of the questions of uh, five point two. Oh, okay. So uh, question number one, I guess, is there any doubt from question number one? No, sir. What about question number two? No, sir. It's also easy, right? Rank nullity uh, theorem. Yeah, this is precisely the rank nullity theorem. Rank nullity is given. You need to find the rank. You just need to subtract 5 uh, minus 2. Okay, minus. This will give you. And 3 also easy, right? Yes, sir. Uh, 4 is the definition, right? Yes, sir. Um, what about 5? Sir, 5 in that uh, uh, AX is equal to 0, I, I also checked uh, there is clicked this uh, it may have no solution no how come it it can it it may have no solution zero is always a solution right okay. whatever a is whatever uh just yeah, just, yes. yeah. Correct, correct you sir maybe for a minute you may you may get some sound uh so whatever uh your a is okay Whatever could be the a, the value of. Uh, if you multiply with zero. Yes, correct. You will always get zero, right? So, okay, fine. So that's why this is this is always a solution. Okay. So for homogeneous homogeneous system, okay, you you will always get zero as your solution. Okay. okay. But if you are you are in a non-homogeneous system, for example, if you have something like this. A okay, is a two plus two matrix, and you have something like this one plus one. Here zero is zero comma zero is not a solution, right? Okay. Because if you get multiply zero, you will get zero, right? Yes. So, so for non-homogeneous system, zero comma zero is not a solution. Okay, but for homogeneous system, when you are in this scenario, zero is always a solution. solution. Okay, no matter what the system is, if it is uh, no matter what the matrix is, matrix okay. Is, okay. If you have homogeneous system, zero is always a solution. Okay. Any, anything else from question number five? No, sir. Yeah. Uh, question number six. Sir, question number six. First option I got it. If the determinant is non zero, means it is invertible, so the nullity is zero. Hmm. Then, if the determinant is non-zero, the nullity may be non-zero. That cannot be true. And the next one is uh, what? Where I have a doubt, sir. Both the if options. The, if the nullity is non-zero, uh -huh. okay, then, then the, the determinant, determinant must be zero. Maybe zero. Maybe non-zero. The the next uh, next thing. Yeah. I'm just getting confused with both uh, these. Yes, yes, basically, uh, they are. We have written uh, option one in some different. Uh, Okay. Yeah. So okay. what basically it's saying if nullity is non-zero, non-zero, then the determinant of A must be zero is one option, maybe non-zero is another option. Okay. Forget about the last option. Okay. okay. So what actually you are saying? If determinant of A is non-zero, first option. Okay. So this is the first option, right? Yeah. Determinant is yes. non-zero. Non-zero. Nullity is zero. Nullity is zero. Right? Yes. yes. Is zero. Right. So, so, so this basically they are closely related. See. Yes. So if nullity is non-zero, determinant A should be zero. Yeah, because if determinant, so suppose determinant of A is non-zero, hmm. then what you will get? Nullity is. Nullity is zero. Right. So at one time you are getting nullity is non-zero and one time you are getting nullity is zero. It's a contradiction, right? So yeah. determinant can cannot be uh, non-zero. It has non to be zero. Okay. 
ओके सर या ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स आई गेस इट्स डन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन एनी डाउट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन यस सर सर कैन यू गिव एन एग्जांपल फॉर द लास्ट ऑप्शन या सो व्हाट इज बेसिकली इट्स सेइंग देयर एग्जिस्ट स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर ए एंड बी ऑफ ऑर्डर एन क्रस एन सच दैट नॉलिटी of a cross a and b is zero but the null okay this is easy right what you want when so you want a null matrix a b right with some condition right and what you want ultimately want the nullity of a cross b to be what n n when this is possible when the nullity of a matrix if a both a and b are n cross n matrix or of order n when th this is possible nullity of this a plus b is a all variables are dependent that means b is dependent means a plus a plus b is a zero matrix right so if it is a zero matrix then only you will get then only you will get All, uh, all the all the uh, variable as your independent variable right yes so so and also you want the nullity of a uh, to be zero right so when this is possible when a is a invertible invertible matrix invertible matrix so if a is invertible okay then you take b to be Minus a. Minus then a. B is also invertible, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Then the nullity of of B is also zero, right? Yes, sir. And the sum of both the matrix is zero. Clear? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Okay. Uh, question number eight. Question number nine. Any problem from question number nine? Sir, uh, one doubt in seventh uh, option B. Nullity of A plus B is equal to nullity of A plus nullity of B. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how whether no. This 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 thing will will can tell you that that option is incorrect, right? So this option, whatever I have, I just now I have uh, explained you. Explained. Okay? Okay. If you if you take. Uh, a is suppose you take a to be invertible matrix. Okay. okay. B to be minus a. Then B is also invertible matrix. Then what is the nullity of a plus b? Do you think this this equality holds? So what is this? This is n, right? Yes. This is zero. Mm. This is zero. That is zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sir. Understood. So, like this, no linear equation would be there. No, Le, uh, this nullity of a minus b. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, like this, nothing would be there. Like this, linear equations like uh, nullity of a minus b is equal to nullity of a minus nullity of b. That is also not possible, right? That is also not possible. Okay, that is not not not, yeah, not, not, not correct in general. But you may have some matrix for which. Uh, mm -hmm. They may hold, okay. But okay. again, like this is also not good, okay. In general, a minus mm -hmm. b. Mm -hmm. This is also not correct. Mm -hmm. uh, question number nine. Nine questions, sir. Huh, what? What is your? Uh... Uh, a A is of order three cross four. Mm -hmm. uh, rank A must be less than or equal to three. How 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 do we just seeing the order? How can we decide, sir? Just a minute. Let me take a photo. Okay, so A is a three cross four matrix, right? Yes. So you know that rank of A. There's nullity. 
of a is equal to n equal to 4 right yes, yes. okay so so my question is so can, can you see for this matrix you will go the nullity is at least one why mm, sir it can even be z because numbers of equation is three and variables are four just a minute yeah. 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 at least yeah. one yeah. individual yeah. yeah. will always be minimum of so suppose you have four variables so you have what you have a b c, c d b. then you have a let's say a1 a1 b1 c1 d1 a2 b2 c2 d2 right yes a3 b3 c3 d3 d3 so now if you convert this into row reduce echelon form okay so how many how many variable this equation has this system has four four, variables. four variables four variable right and and if you and how you compute your nullity the number of independent, independent variables. variables so if you convert this this system into row reduce echelon form so if, if you write the row reduce echelon form then how many dependent at max how many dependent variable you can get from from this system Three. Three, right? That yeah. means you will always get at least one independent variable. Yes. At least one. Yes. That that means your nullity is nullity of A is at least gets yes. at least one. One, yes. Right. So that means the rank is at at uh, at max. At max at most three. Yeah. Okay, sir. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, next, okay. So let me check the other option. Nullity of A must be greater than equal to yes. one. So this is now clear. Yes. Uh, so what about it has option? two columns which are non-zero and non multiple This is the same as. Uh... Uh, so can so can now uh, can you solve option three and four? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, question number 10. Yes, sir, question number so, 10, yes, last option. Hmm. So, um, option 4, have a doubt. Okay. Yes, sir, last option. Just a minute. Uh, so, what is given in the question? So, uh, you have the... Uh, Question number 10, right? So this is a matter. This is a system x equal to 0, right? Homogeneous system of linear equation. And this equation has infinitely many solutions. This is really important. This has infinitely many solutions. This is a m cross n matrix. So so my first question is, what I you can conclude from here? There should there be an independent variable. Sorry? There, there must be an independent variable. There must be an independent variable. That means the nullity is an A is at, least least one. One. at least one. Not zero. Yeah, at least one. Not zero. Yeah, correct. If the nullity is not zero. That means the nullity is at least one. It's always greater than or equal to one, right? So now, anything else is given? No, nothing else is given. Now you write the rank nullity theorem. So rank of A plus nullity of A is N, right? The first option says, which of, the, uh, okay, rank of A is M. Rank of A is M and M is less than 
so it's see it's not saying that it's always true it's saying which of the following are possible okay so so you can have a scenario when when m is what uh it's saying uh, the first option basically says that let me write it rank of a is what rank of a is m and also m is less than a right so this is possible right yes sir because some in some case you may have uh, your rank is basically so you have a five four uh, maybe say four cross five matrix right and your uh, uh, nullity is one and rank is four right so so this is precisely this matrix will give you let let if you consider this matrix 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
zero is the only solution. Okay, that means yeah, this is possible only when that means the nullity of this matrix is zero. Okay, that and that is possible at least for invertible matrix. That is possible. Hey, sorry, uh, at least for uh, square matrix, n cross n matrix. That is possible when the matrix is inverted. What about question number fourteen? Sir, I. Sir, I so I have doubt, sir. Mm. Okay, just a minute. What it's saying? X is ah again. It's sort of the same question. Okay, so what basically is saying? You have a x one non zero, right? Yeah. It's uh, x one non zero solves a x is equal to zero, right? So basically, a one independent variable. At least two. At least one independent. At least one. Variable. Yeah. So you have, you have this. That means, if I take the span of x one, okay, this is I know this is inside the null space of. Yes. That means, and x one is non-zero. That means the nullity is. At greater. least. At least one. Yes. Okay. So then, what is the number of elements in a linearly independent subset of K? What is the minimum number? What is the minimum number of uh, elements in a, uh, elements in a linearly independent subset? Okay, so uh, does it mean like what are the possible dependent variables possible? Sir? Yeah, yes. See, yeah. Time and Again, so what basically it's saying you have null space plus rank, right? Yeah. Okay, for, for, okay. So to be very frank, this this question has. As nothing, okay. You can actually solve this question without uh, this one. Okay, so uh, and let me show you why. Uh, so nullity a plus rank a. Okay, it's what four. Four. W what is the maximum value of rank? Two. Two. Right. This is at max. This is two. Right. After why? So you have a two cross two matrix. A two cross four cross matrix. Four. Oh, oh, got it, got it, got it. Understood. And yeah. You so some... you'll have only those two, like one, one, and. So have... If, if, if the maximum value of rank is two, okay, then the maximum value of nullity, nullity is, is also two. 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 Yeah. So so that means you actually always you need two linearly independent, right? Got so, it. Got it. Yeah. So again, like this, this basically it's here. Of no reason. Okay, so. Uh, Sir, so maximum so, value of null or minimum value of null will you do? Minimum, minimum. Yeah. Yeah, that is what it's asking. See, see, I am getting the what I am getting. I am basically getting the nullity is at least two, right? Yes. That means the minimum number we need two. And what about question number fifteen? Sir, I I have doubt in what is meant by sir R n cross n space means. And then just a bit before that, uh, I, let me ask uh, what about question number fifteen. It is easy, right? It's more or less basis. Okay, you you can do it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, any 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 other question? Now I I can. Sir, what is meant by R n cross n uh, like space? What is R n cross n? It is given right. in question number thirteen. A in R cross R and cross N. Question number thirteen. Okay. Where? It is written, sir. A is in R and cross N. Question number thirteen. Ah, okay. This is a matrix of order in cross N. See, if you have a matrix A, B, C, D, right? This is a two cross two matrix, right? 
Yes, sir. You can also you can think like this, right? A, B, C, D. Right? It's basically in R2 cross 2, which is 4. Okay, when this is not vector space, this is matrix. Okay. This is this is one of the way uh, of uh, writing a matrix. Okay, it's it, it, when it's written, it's better you consider this as you say two cross two. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Don't don't uh, use this identification. Okay, it's but this is one of the way of seeing a matrix as an element of R two cross. Two. Okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? Any any other doubt from other activity questions? If you have doubt from other activity question, also we can solve. Okay, then I'll stop the session. Okay. Uh, sir, may I ask? Sir, I have doubt. Sir. I asked two times, right? If you, yeah. Uh, like from quiz one. Which one? Yeah. Uh, I think you are very good matrix here. So which of the following matrices are not the square of three by three matrix with real entries? Here, uh, just a minute, let me open it. Yeah, yes, sir. So I do have doubted that question. One forty seven. Which one? Yeah. Uh, sir, 147. Page number? Uh, page number 99. Okay, so let me open the PDF. Just give me a minute. I can't. Okay. Let me find the original file. Any, anyone? Uh, of you have doubt from quiz? Oh, you yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. There was a, yeah. yes, sir. I have doubt. Just a minute, let me open. Can you see my screen? No, sir. Not no, sir. Okay. Just a minute, let me open it. Okay, I'll stop recording.